The U.S. Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, welcomed General Fan and his delegation at a brief ceremony outside the Pentagon on Thursday morning. A handshake and about 15 minutes of pomp and circumstance. Then the two entered the Pentagon. General Fan signed the guest book, and then the Americans and the Chinese proceeded into closed door meetings, which lasted for hours. Now, we can't be entirely sure what was discussed behind those doors. We may get a snippet from the statements later in the day, but no doubt the U.S. reiterated its concerns over Chinese activities in the South China Sea, a source of tension between the two capitals in recent weeks. Beijing says its development in the sea is for peaceful purposes. Purposes, and it's objected to U.S. accusations to the contrary. Washington has also expressed concern over Chinese claims to disputed islands in the East China Sea. No doubt that issue would have come up as well, as would the issue of cybersecurity. Some U.S. intelligence officials say Chinese hackers were behind a security breach revealed last week, which may have compromised the data of more than 4 million American government workers and former employees. The White House so far has not named any state players, but China, responding to the implications, says it played no part in the breach and that it too has been the subject of hacking. It's called on Washington to work with Beijing to better protect cyberspace for all parties. But at the same time, in the background to all of this, remember, the U.S. has indictments issued last year for five Chinese military personnel it believes were involved in hacking. All five are still in China. Now, these issues and others cast a shadow over the meetings before they started. Chinese officials this week urged the U.S. to use talks to resolve disagreements instead of resorting to, quote, microphone diplomacy. On Friday, General Fan will meet with American veterans and sign an Army-to-Army -Army cooperation agreement at the National Defense University here in the Washington, D.C. area. He'll also meet with State Department and White House officials. All of this laying the groundwork for the upcoming strategic and economic dialogue meetings scheduled for later this month and for a visit to the U.S. by the Chinese leader Xi Jinping scheduled for September. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV at the Pentagon.